What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. I didn't even believe the kind of money was involved that was involved. And what was he telling you, like, specifically? How was he doing? Because, like, we know you got into credit card fraud, but there's different there's different ways to do this. I, I had, I was telling you before, I had John Boziak in here who was very, in, I mean, he was a big time credit card scammer for years back during this era. And he was doing it more where he, he ended up becoming a printer of cards, I believe, but he also, he was getting like mass supply from Russia and Ukraine through the dark web mm -hmm. and then like shipping it out. Like there was a lot of different things he was doing, mm -hmm. but what was, when, when you were in prison, this guy was explaining to you, here's how it's done. What, what was like the, the, the methodology he had? He was telling me that they were able to get stuff where, okay. So what he did tell me was they got so much. He, it started off like <clears throat> he didn't even probably know how much he can trust me. He started off saying, we have a lot of merchandise, whatever you want. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like at the time, Flat screen TVs was really popular and they were expensive. Like, I think we got a, a crate of flat screens. We got a crate of laptops. Um, iPhones had just came out. He said, we have 30, 40 iPhones. So he's like, if you want, you pay me this amount for them and then you go sell it. But I'll always leave you room. So, so wait, that's selling straight. Pro All right. I, so, I'm not following. Okay. So first things first, he brought me in on the merchandise side. His crew was going out doing the fraud, getting the stuff. And selling oh, I understand. It. So his okay. crew was got going it. out getting all got of the it. shit. He didn't bring me yes. right into the how we get it. He's like, right. so I got out. I did the cigarette thing. Talked to his sister again. He put me with one of his main guys. So he's like, all right, yeah, man. Like basically, give me eight thousand right here, right? So I give him eight thousand. It's like a container. In this container, if if you might say the retail was close to forty, thirty five, forty, I went and sold that container for fifteen, sixteen thousand. Where the next person had room or room too. So this might have been laptops, all laptops and flat screen TVs that they were carding. They were carding for this stuff. Yeah, oh, hey, you think yes. this is? Can you explain of, carding to people again? John, explain this. But can also, you, can carding you that? is that they get um they get information from the dark web, probably through Russia, Ukraine, or some people got they cut those uh, Russians and Ukraines out, and they installed skimmers on all payment processing systems, and then they put them in all of these stores. That Fishing. that kind of stuff works the best because it's unique to the area. So I believe my guy, how he had control of what they can make exactly, he was a skimmer guy because he didn't, like the Russian Ukraine ordering off the dark rib, I kind of like discovered that and ran across that. But the quality of stuff you get from there yeah. is iffy. Because it's like you, seven out of 50 It's sometimes. seven out of 50 yeah. sometimes, but you can and you will make money off of that at, at, at that time. This is before chip cards. So his stuff mainly probably came from skimmers that he was collecting the information and he controlled it. So he You're saying knew. skimmers? A skimmer is like um when you swipe your card at a payment processor, they're in the background getting your if your information, including your PIN number. So How do they do that? So uh they they uh they every, hack it? Every system is made to be circumvented. They found out the person who makes the uh payment credit card processors and then they build them. And then now you can go in the store and and, and put your device on top of oh that. My God. You put a device on top of um the existing one, or what you do is you 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 could possibly hack into it. But I believe to to localize to to make it better, you want um specific you want region specific yes. work. And that's a big problem with Russia Ukraine because they don't they don't they're not familiar with the regions they're not and stuff around here. Yeah, so you so, could get like mm -hmm. the wrong zip code and yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So region specific work is that's how he controlled it. So I think I, I told you this off camera. Like if he had a card, he knew that that card would be able to spend twenty thousand dollars. I'm like, yeah, but it's not a fifty dollar card. If I'm telling you, you and if you don't spend twenty thousand dollars, I'll get you another one until you spend twenty. So my my thing is, all I needed was some people to help me out with my play. Once I got over buying his stuff, reselling it, making some money, I'm like, this is way more money than I made off drugs because I spent eight thousand to make five profit. When when you went home, like, is your is your girl and 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 your kids still around too? No, nah, my girl left by then. I mean, five years in prison. I couldn't expect her to stay. Sure. Because um, this is like, I didn't even know. I couldn't even fathom doing that. I right. couldn't even fathom that, uh, actually. So um, she left. 
I had a new girl when I came home. I met a new girl. I reconnected with the girl who I knew before, and we ended up getting together. So um, that's why I came home, and I was But your daughter's away. My daughter's out of the house, which still defeated the purpose of me wanting to be a father there with my child. But prison ruined that anyway. But the great part from all of this is my parents embrace my children, where they know nothing about any illicit activity, any circumventing systems. So even are, when even when your girl le- like did she move far away? She or, didn't move far away. She okay, moved on so to another guy there. and had okay. kids with another man. Okay. So that so that they're around. We were we were done. Like the my first daughter's mom. And by then I do have another daughter that I had in between that prison sentence. But then I t- explain to you like the relationship. Yeah, I'll explain that too. So um so now once I get uh I, I find out that this is a way to make way more money and easier and less risk. I mean, again, I rationalize that. Yeah. What's the harm? The bank will pay them back anyway. But I knew exactly almost what I was going to make. And it was a, it turned back into a 30, 50 K a month. You're financially inconveniencing. I mean, yeah, yeah. A little bit, you know, I mean, I, I didn't do Matt it. Proud. Look, I didn't do it. They're going to do it anyway. Even if it's I don't do it. Yeah, it's not a crime. Um, um, These big banks don't don't care about us anyway. Yeah. They got billions. They're insured. Yeah. I, I came with every reason to Hit make the insurance it. Insurance Come on. Yeah, to make it make sense. But um, uh, uh, uh he, he. He gave me an opportunity to kind of go on my own and not deal with him. However, that's when I was like, okay, I can order this dark web work and I can order this dark web stuff in bulk for way less. But it's it's like much harder. It's much more footwork. Mm. So I still needed him. He made sure I still needed him. Even though he gave me the game, he kind of put me in it. Again, like I'm like, how the hell this fool knows this? He's walking around with dusty sweatpants on in a prison yard dirty shoes and he's brilliant i'm Who like was if, he connected if to? those dudes on the yard knew i just think he knew some some people he must have knew he didn't ever tell me but who do you know that can make skimmers i, I mean i don't know anyone that can do that so. like, like like i couldn't even i even looked online and tried to learn it and figure it out but he he never told me that but obviously a person that can extract um Credit card information, personal information, and and then from there you do a like background check and you find out all the information needed on a person. I mean, it's, unli- it's infinite possibilities of what sure. you can do. And this is to, for part of the reason why I don't deal with people's personal and financial information to this day. I just won't do it, man. I mean, it's a real, real touchy thing. If if you kind of deal that people, are, it's hard to trust somebody who you know maybe capable of doing these kind of things. But I I don't even care to do that because I don't ever need my name coming back up in some shit like that again. So, so, um, what ended up happening was, uh, I knew what I could get from him and and he wasn't going to deal with too many people. He had milked this obviously and made millions. This guy who on the prison yard, he still stayed there another two years. Before he got out and got deported, mm. so he went, oh he got deported, got deported. Where did yeah, he get so deported to? Back to the U- Europe somewhere. Back out of, <laughs> out of here, he got he got kicked out. Of, he gave, he never. I never saw him when he got out. I never saw him in part. I am when he going got out. back to my country. Yeah, he Don't went back, but it. he had made millions. He had made me. I'm yeah. like, damn, but nobody there with him. No, and I, this is the peak of that era. This you is are the in the peak yeah. of like when dark web. Credit card scamming was oh, like yeah. the oh, vibe. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.